Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to ClashPod. Welcome to the last day of PLG Season 3. This is the last game of this season. I we hope you pretty much enjoy this Season 3. Be prepared. If not, just let me know down in the live chat section or in the comment section below as well. So let's begin the last game of the Season 3. We have Team Hype so far you know, leading the tournament. I think they are going to win Season 3 of this PLG. Let's see how this all is gonna end we have the plane path already and it's gonna fly over to the military island somewhere towards the shooting range and the 70 as well let's see how this all is gonna go what just happened here oh i thought that was a glitch thank you i hope you guys all enjoyed season three let me know if you if you didn't enjoy it and don't forget to leave a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please feel free to subscribe and good luck for the next season as well and bottom 10 teams will be playing qualifier round for the next season as well they're gonna have to play qualifier rounds so you must have seen the results you must have seen the standings leaderboard if not it's gonna be there it's gonna be popped up after about 30 minutes or so so let's enjoy the game we have the plane path i'm so excited to see who is gonna win this you know season three i'm, I'm really much excited i i think you guys are also excited it's like we are all right let's let's keep everything apart and that's our team mad as usual going down there in the military island we have team nvk they used to go down in puchinki started the game started the season from puchinki but now they are gonna go in the milta that that that's a good thing you know you just don't want to lose your team in the first phase first initial phase of the game so kira they are gonna hold chosable uh, containers as usual we have td squad going somewhere around the shelter or they could be going towards the mansion as well so this is the day three actually this is the last game of plg season three and oh i'm i'm gonna miss season three Oh boy, so this is NVK, somewhere down there in Milta, we have XO squad, I think they are so close to Team Easy one as well, Easy one they are gonna fight with Team NVK anytime soon in Milta, because there are two squads down here, they need to be, they need to be careful. So that's Easy one by the way, this is FPP mode, if you guys didn't know, third day is all about FPP, and Kira Zane just knocked somebody down with that M762, they are fighting somewhere around here, I'm not sure how these guys are approaching the opponents but they need to be careful i know this is the last day of the season but come on play well so c2w only d9 is here who has been not okay he's just got eliminated we still have three players alive for team ctw but gole is bleeding out so so quickly we have team kira down here i think they've got plenty of loots in their backpack so is there with the slr and the m762 as well Let's see how this all is gonna end. This is the Zozo Pull Squad has Zayn knocked down Kira. I'm sorry, Kira Zayn knocked down C2W Gole. Now there is only two players left to fight for Team C2W. So Hype Team, they are gonna change their drop location as well. They used to go somewhere towards the western side of Gatka, but this time around they are so close to ruins. Maybe they are gonna change some things here. TD Vikas is here with the Thompson in his hands. This is the fpp mode if you guys didn't know it the third day of course it's the fpp mode and td squad they are gonna start the game with three players only that's our vikas bob yt and we have c1 crazy as well for team td who are about to fight with the team nvk squad all of a sudden i just saw them going towards the milta power could be a good location for a single player to loot in dz with dp20 and it's sark that's the Sark skin DP28. If you haven't got that thing yet, I think you missed it. I think it was in the season 8 or season 9. I forgot about it, but the skin is really good. DZ with the SLR. I'm sorry, that's SKS in the hands of DZ. We have Mama here with a VSS. This is FPP mode for you guys. Team Mad is completely safe. No need to worry about anything. And the circle is going to form up. It's going to... It's gonna cover lots of areas towards the northern east side of the map. We have Kamiski, nobody's down there. Because the plane path didn't even touch, didn't even touch the Kamiski or something like that. So we have PN guys, as usual, they are gonna loot the Severny. 7C, of course, they are gonna loot the 
Joe's Pool Apartments, of course, and XOE Squad, they are down here somewhere around the mansion. They used to go down there in the Joe's Pool Apartment, but they just changed their location because they you know, you know, the 7C, they always used to go there in the Joe's Pool Apartments, including XOE Squad, and they know it's not enough. The loot is not enough for two squads in the Joe's Pool Apartments, so that's why they must have chosen to split into two different, you know, locations in a map. That's a good idea. That's how you should be playing the games because you need loot, you need utilities to move forward to fight with the opponents as well. It's not just about location. It's about loot. It's about ammunition, strategy, everything. We have King B down here trying to loot the mansion and weapon. They are so alone here in Yasnaya. I, I didn't see any salty, any members from Team Salty here. The this used to be their hot drop. Weapon CFS, looking so good at the moment, team weapon, everybody down here, that's CFS with the M16, A4 in its hands, we have Gallo with the AKM as well, really good skin of that AKM, by the way, that's our 7C squad, they're looting these old school apartments, that's really good, 7C Hades with the M416, that holographic M416 is definitely going to do some damage to the opponents, and these guys are jumping here and there to loot these apartments here. Nobody's there, they, they don't even have to worry about any other teams, any other opponents, they just take take your time, loot the place, fill up your backpack, that's it, it's simple. And Team Kira, they are gonna fight with Team C2W, by the way, C2W, they already lost a couple of members from the team, Gule is no more, and D9 is no more as well, so that's Kira Zane with two kills, I believe that was Kira Zane who got, okay, that was a kill from Kira Zane, and another from Thokle here with the SKS in his hands, really good score, okay, Edex, he's got Edex in that SKS, that's amazing, that's, that's really quick. And we have Flair. Not sure who's shot this. I think there is a player down there. That's Team TD, isn't it? Oh boy. Why are they doing this? Because is down here. Maybe he's waiting for the flare drop. Come on. Nobody's down here except TD Vikash. And I think he just shot that flare drop. There is a flare package. Vikas, is he gonna loot this? Maybe yes. He jumped out. Okay, jumps out of that prison. Maybe he is so close to that grub. Look at that. He's gonna loot everything possible. That's AUC. So there comes his teammates. MK14, AUC, tact stock for the rifles. SMZ, they are gonna use the um, tact stock as well. Uh, this is this is so so not. Come on, guys, don't do this. Flare in prison. Seriously, you want to use flare drop? I'm gonna loot the flare drop. So Cryptic's fire is here with poison in the motorbike. They are using, they are completely safe at the moment. They are somewhere around the military breeze, we can say that. Maybe they are planning to do some sort of uh, breach cams. Exos on this, all of a sudden, they are down there somewhere around the Stalber. They were looting in the mansion and a couple of members from Team Exo, they just split it into two different sections and they are gonna loot these houses in this Talbor, EXO Sundays. So they started the game with three players only. King B is here with the Dacia, and that's Suvas with Dacia as well. Maybe they are gonna join the, join their teammates, Team Weapon. They're gonna loot the Yasnaya, Poliana, of course, and they are definitely gonna get out from that place in time. That's airdrop number two, the Christmas airdrop, we can say that, the invisible airdrop as well. I wanna see what's inside. Do you guys wanna see what's inside that drop? Because I really want to see what's inside this second airdrop of the game. We have Team Peons. Look so, so close to it. Maybe Exo Sundays is going to go towards the airdrop as well. Blend can definitely see the airdrop. Maybe it's time for him to get inside that vehicle, get to the airdrop, loot it all. And oh boy, let's see, let's see how this all is going to end. Blend making his way towards the flare drop. I think he is going to be the first person to loot this drop. Exo is... Okay, he's not gonna move. I thought he was gonna go there to loot the airdrop, but no, he's not. He's definitely not gonna loot the drop. By the way, if you guys didn't know, this is the last game of Season 3 PLG, of course, and I think in a couple of weeks we are gonna start the new season as well with a different way. We are gonna start Season 4 in a very, very different way. So this is ZM Chronicus, four players from Team JM, completely safe at the moment. They've got UACs, they've got Buggy as well. They are very much ready to fight 
with the opponents they just looted whole Lipovka JM Nang with the AKM red dot AKM not bad we have team triptics okay I can see fire going towards team T2K they need to be careful T2K guys they just looted the Rosa All right, Cryptic's fire is here. Everybody alive for Team Cryptic's poison down here. So these guys are so safe at the moment. T2K guys, they just looted the Rosak. They are completely safe at the moment, but they need to be careful as well because there is a team right on their southern, I'm sorry, eastern portion of the map. They need to be careful. There is Team Cryptic's. They can definitely hear some gunshots if they try to fire them up. And this is a usual place for Team T2K. They usually come down here. They loot the Rosak. They come down here in this compound and try to hold it until the poison pushes them to change their location. We have Team Hype. Gurkha White is there. We have Hype SK49, Venom, Turtle, everybody alive in the game. But they are under the red bombing zone. By the way, if you guys haven't liked the video yet, if you think we deserve some like... Please feel free to press that like button and subscription. Thank you so much in advance. All right, so that's Team Hype for you. Everybody alive. Team Escape, Escape 49 from Team Hype. Did he got disconnected? He's not even moving. He does not even have anything in his backpack. He's not moving at all. Maybe he got disconnected. Oh boy, this is not looking good for Team Hype. They are going to lose a member outside the blue zone. Uh, that's Team Hype SK49 for you. Cryptics, they are engaged in a fight with Team T2K. I told you guys, maybe they saw somebody on the other side. That's T2K squad on that other side of that Rosa, close to the Rosa. We can say that thing. So, this is Cryptics. On the other side, we have Team T2K. I wonder how they are going to approach Keep Team King, by the way. They are outside the play zone. We have Team King's Shroud here outside the play zone. He needs to get inside in time. TD because just knocks a player down. Weapon 68 has been knocked down. This is C1 Crazy with the AUC. That's the th weapon he got from the flare drop, by the way. They just used the flare gun in the prison. Not sure what's gonna happen, but that's crazy. C1 crazy with AUZA3 in his hands and team weapon. They are so close to these buildings as well. Galu and CFH perfectly lined up on two broken walls, but I don't think that's a good idea. You need to be careful. You don't even have proper, you know, enough members. Weapon ER7 trying to spot these enemies from far away, but I don't think that is that's enough. CFS fires a couple of shots. Vikas just jumps from the high. Oh boy, that's the third floor. You just jumped out from that third floor. You need to be careful. We have Bob Whitey. He jumped out as well. Weapon CFH. Couple of nades. Look at that smoke. They are going to push back from this place. Because they know a push is going to come from TD squad. Crazy. Knocks him down. CFH. That's a broken wall I'm talking about. Never hide behind that broken wall. It can be visible when the opponent is way too high. There is another nade coming in, but nobody's down there. Vikar is trying to confirm the kill. CFH is in trouble now. Galu. He's, he is. Okay. Galu is going to move away from that place. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Vikar is so close to him. There is another player from top. Steven Crazy has been knocked down. That's ER7 with M16 knocking down. C went crazy, but Didi Vikas, on the other hand, just get... He just got another knock for the team. This is amazing. Look at that. ER7 is still here, and he is definitely not going to make it. He is definitely not going to revive his teammate. It's not even possible for him to revive his teammates. He's, I think he's going to have to broom, run, run away from this place while you can, or else you are going to be... Eliminated just like that. This is FPP mode. You cannot use that TPP advantage, that 360 degree viewing angle advantage. Just, you just have to play with the 180 degrees. That's it. TD Vikas with the MK14 in his hands trying to spot the enemy. Weapon ER7 is right on that other compound, other building. And Vikas running in to find the opponent. But they cannot simply find it. Steven Crazy is back on his feet. Weapon team, they've already lost two members. C2W also lost two members already in the game. And look at the difference. Look at the difference. NVK, I think they are engaged with a fight. In a fight with Team Easy one it seems it's going to be very much difficult. It's going to be interesting to see how these guys are going to perform here. Because Easy one is down there below... 
I'm sorry, if they are below top 10 position, they're going to have to play qualifiers if they cannot move up a little bit more higher, if they cannot make themselves up in the 10th rank inside that top 10 list. It's going to be difficult for easy one. We have NVK, I think they are in the boundary. Or maybe not. I need to check the list. Just like you guys did. <laughs> E9 squad, all of a sudden, they just left, they just left the Pochinki and they are down here. Serpa, I think you can definitely see the players on the other side. That's DP28 in the hands of E9 Serpa. With 3x, is definitely going to be enough to knock somebody down with that 47 bullets of that 7.62 millimeter ammo. NVK, so open. They could be visible from the perspective of Team T2K. We have Team Cryptics holding these compounds to the southern side of the map as well. They need to be careful. Hype SK-49 didn't make it. He was outside the play, play zone. Maybe he got disconnected and he didn't even, he didn't even move. Now he's no more. We still have Easy One. Laling is here with the... Oh boy, that's Kuni, who was spotted by KRPT. That's Cryptics on a mole. Knocking down Kuni with that car 98, one single shot, and boom, that's a knock knock. Easy one, Laling is here with the mini 14 and AKM as well. He is trying to hide in that building. It's not going to be easy for Team Easy One. They have to play smart game, or else they are going to have to play the qualifiers, qualifier round again for the next season. E9 Serpa with DP28 in his hands. Still trying to figure out the exact location of the enemies on the other side, but it's not TPP mode. You cannot simply see the opponents when you prone inside the building and try to use that third-person perspective. It's not even easy. It, you, can, you can't do that. It's the FPP mode for you guys. We still have 16 teams alive in the game, 55 members still fighting for the chicken dinner, and this is NVK squad. They can spot the enemies on the other side, but they aren't. I don't think they are ready to go down there to rush into those compounds to push these players on the compound. This is trying to hold this place, but they need to be careful. They could be backfired. They could be counterfired from behind by Team T2K. They need to be extra careful because Team T2K are down there. Mad who cares? Knocks a player down. That's TD because I wonder where they are fighting. This They are just changing the location. We have who cares with the Mini 14. Erics in that Mini 14 is definitely going to be devastating damage. It's, it's, def it's going to give you a lot more damage than you can expect. Who cares? Trying to destroy the vehicle. Seems okay. Bob Whitey knows that. And he is going to take that DCI inside the cover. Really good move by TD Bob Whitey. Look at these players. TD squad. They're going to have to be careful. There are three players for Team TD, but. They are pinned down here. A couple of more smokes. They've got Dacia. Maybe it's time for them to run away from this place or else they are going to lose. A slowly push is coming in towards Team TD. Mad team trying to make some move to get inside the enemy's territory. We have Team TD. They are going to bounce out from this place because this is not a good idea to fight from here. That's really good judgment by Team TD. They are going to bounce out from that place and Team Mad, they are going to back off as well. Just don't stay in the open field. We still have lots of players down here. Maybe P and guys are fighting with another team. That's the fourth airdrop. TDC went crazy. He just got knocked down. I wonder who knocked him down. I missed. I missed it. I missed it. I'm sorry, that's Team a Mad Rambo. Nidos is here. Maybe they're gonna ride the vehicle to get inside the play zone. Yes, of course, they want to grab the perfect location before they can fight with the enemies. Cryptic's poison with the AKM in his hands and that holographic sight is a definitely good choice. If you don't want to use Red Dot, it's definitely a good thing for you to use in a close range. Or else you could go with the Iron Sight with that AKM as well. But it's definitely, you know, it's, it's very much okay to use some sort of scopes with any weapons. Rather than going Iron Sight, come on, use Red Dot. It's good, isn't it? Cryptics. Still holding the compound. We have a knockdown. Easy one, La Ling. They tried to move away from that place. They had to move away, actually. And they are cut off by Team Kira. A knockdown. That's a vehicle rundown, by the way. Team Kira still here. Look at the... What is happening? Come on, guys. Where is Team Kira? Okay, they are here. Susan on the move. It seems they are going to choose Team Easy One to knock 
them down. Okay, that's another knockdown. Manish has been knocked down by Susan with that M416. Suppressed M416. A single player left for Team Easy One to fight for the team. Sundays is making a move. Reckless move. It could be a dangerous move for Team XO here. Sundays just moved inside two different teams. He just drove by and he is going to crash his vehicle where Team Cryptics are trying to hold. Oh my god, this is going to be interesting. T2K guys, they are fighting with Team PN on the other side of the map. Blin has been knocked down. It's T2K Chari with the M AKM knocking these players down. We have Susan, really low on health. Maybe he is going to use some um, first hit kit or so. We have Crazy. That's C1 Crazy. The only player who can fight for the team. Can he do something? No, that's not a good idea. He saw he's on the move. He can definitely spot the enemy from up there. And that's going to be the end of the game. for Team TD. Bob Whitey is no more. And that confirms it. TD squad, they have been eliminated. We lost three teams already from the game. Cryptics still looking strong. By the way, that's our Team XO down here. Sunday is finally made inside the compound. And Team... Cryptics are there. They're trying to hold the compound as hard as they can. And everybody down here, they just want a compound. Nothing else. They just want compound. They just want to be safe. That's it. Nothing else. So this is Kira Zayn with the M416. Everybody alive for Team Kira here. They are going to loot Easy One's crate here. Easy One, they are no more in the game. I think they got eliminated in the 14th. 14th rank, maybe Team Kira are going to hold this place a little bit more so that they could gatekeep JM squad, but no, JM, they just chose to go f all the way towards the left, they just flanked from the left, but Team Mad are holding, and that's a knockdown, so you have a knockdown, that's Chronicus making some move, oh, for Team Mad's rank, that was close. Uh, that's a knockdown. Chronicus is there. Zero Fear bleeding out really, really fast. I wonder where the other players from Team JM are. It's time for them to come down here to help their friends. There goes the nade. Look at the nades. That's almost three, four nades back to back nonstop. Mad Sam making a run, trying to spot the enemies from the right. It's not looking good for Team JM. Spots a player. Come on, fight it. Fight it. No, he's not firing. He knows there's a player down there. It's too late, I guess. Now, he's been spotted now. It's n you need to be careful. Run away from that place or else you are going to be eliminated. Mad Rambo has been knocked down. That's ZM Sunim with a backup team. There comes our backup team. JM squad. Chronic is still there. Zero Fear still there behind the UAZ. Taking some damage from Mad Sam. A player has been knocked down for Team Mad. Thokle from Team Kira are going to join the compound. It seems they are going to come out of their comfort zone. They are going to kill this player. It seems they are ready to fight with these players for some third party actions. Team Mad. They are reviving their teammates. Who cares? Trying to use a different perspective there. Team Kira, all of a sudden, they just joined here. The third party action is not looking good for Team Kira as well. Thokle stops a vehicle behind. Zero fear and Kronikas. The only player left for Team Kira is still alive. I wonder how long he can be alive. He's, that's a really, really low HP in that health bar of JM Chronicus. One single nade could end up the life of Team JM. There comes a nade. It's not going to touch them anymore. But really good nade. Second nade comes in. Is it going to touch? Yes, of course. It's going to damage him. It was really close. I wonder why didn't he move that from that place. There comes a revival thing that Zero Fear is definitely going to be revived, including Zayn, but no way, Thokle is not going to revive his teammate, he was ready to fight with the opponent, and that was a bad move, we can say that, but he didn't have, he didn't have any choice, he didn't have any choice either, they had to fight, E9 joins in, oh boy, there comes back to back, want to eliminate each other down, from the game, uh, that's it. We have Hype Kurka YT knocking down E9 Serpa, and he gets knocked. By the way, not, not Kurka YT, he is still alive. Skip 49 is no more. Three players for Team Hype, and they just managed to get inside the compound here. Team E9, it's gonna be trouble. It's gonna be difficult for these players. Really good nade by Kurka YT, knocks a player down. A turtle has been knocked down for Team Hype as well. It's going to be Gurkha Whitey alone himself to knock these players down or else it's going to be a disaster for Team Hype. We still have Venom and Gurkha Whitey alive in the game. Gurkha Whitey taking 
taking care of e9. He's trying to get keep these players here. They, he's just keeping them busy. e9 squad, of course. Maybe Venom just revived Turtle here. Cryptic's fire has been knocked down. King team on fire here. Aru's knocked down. NVK squad. They are on fire. Kuni is here with the M416 in his hand. I don't know how he is going to approach. We have Gurkha Whitey trying to flank from the left. Trying to flank from the right. Not sure what's going on. I'm sorry. Oh boy, that's Venom, isn't it? Venom trying to fight with E9. Yes, of course, Animes is back up there. Two players already eliminated from the game. Team E9, they're gonna have to continue with two players only, but Animes is the only player who can still fight for the team. E9 bleeding out really quick. Oh boy, that there comes a boost. Team Hype, three players. It's gonna be 1v3 situation for Team E9's Animes. Spots him. Ruka YT is on the run, including Venom and Turtle. Knocks the player down, animes. But no, that's not gonna be enough. There was one V3 situation for team E9. Couldn't that you know couldn't survive much longer. So that's ZM Chronicus, the only player who can still fight for the team. All right, here we are. We have NVK and Hyped. I think they are engaging in a fight here, including Team Mad. They are outside the play zone. They're going to have to get inside the play zone in time or else they are going to lose every single member from the game. JM Chronicles has been caught up because of that blue zone. Hype Venom has been knocked down. That's going to be the end for Team NVK as well. We still have seven teams alive in the battlefield who are completely ready to fight with the opponents. T2K Sol is there with the M16A4 in his hands. And spot somebody from Team Cryptics on the other side. Venom cut off because of that play zone these guys are playing so so smart games here t2k they're trying to get some shelter on that shelter critic tamang has been eliminated that's anamol who gets another knock poison really close to team mad there comes a nade Cryptic Poison, really low on health, he needs to be careful, but Team Mad, Team Cryptics, both of these teams are outside the play zone, they're gonna have to be extra careful, they're gonna have to be careful enough to get inside the play zone or else you know what happens, King Shroud still alive for the team, we have Nixon down here as well, they are so close to the play zone, T2K squad, they are outside the play zone as well, Team Hype on the other hand, they're completely safe. C2W, Lucky OP, he is really amazing. Lucky OP, he is the survivor, I can say that. He's really amazing. So this is C2W, Lucky OP, the only player who can still fight for the team. But there is a player, there is a player coming from behind. I believe that's Hype Turtle. Maybe not, that's Gurkha Whitey, right behind. I'm sorry, that's Hype Turtle shooting the player from Team T2K. He just entered the play zone as well, including Team T2K, but nobody's down there. They just moved inside. You need to take care of their right, feel right, or else. Look at these players. 
Still have six teams alive in the battlefield. Twelve players still ready to fight for the team for that chicken dinner for those placement points king shroud knocks mad and need those down that's a confirmation kill from king shroud who cares has been knocked down and that's the team elimination team team king nick uh just confirming a couple of kills for team mad here cryptics poison really low on health as well oh boy that's gonna be the end for team cryptics as well that's t2k hunter knocking him knocking cryptics down we only have eight players, four teams alive for the game, Hype Squad. They've got two players in the team, C2W, Lake OP. He's, you guys need to be careful because he is used to be, he, he just used to play, you know, single player. He's too good with it, isn't it? Because you guys must have seen how he played in the previous games, previous matches. He's just got, he also got some chicken dinners with amazing kills. So that's TDK squad reviving their teammates. We still have two players alive for Team Hype, two players for Team King. And TDK squad, they've got three players and Hype Gurkha. He knows there is a player on the other side of that map and trying to nade the other player. But come on, he's not even there. He's way too far away. Just, it's so close to the blue zone. Look at that. There comes some smokes. There comes some fire. Gurkha Whitey, now he knows where to shoot at. He needs to be careful though. You cannot use that TPP advantage here in this FPP mode. You need to be extra careful. Alright, so that's Hype Turtle, Gurkha Whitey. So close to the play zone. TDK guys, they've got the play zone. They are actually inside the play zone as well. Team King on the other side of that. Play zone completely safe. C2W, Lucky OP. He's gonna have to crawl in so hard to get inside the play zone or else you know what happens after you die and you are the last member alive in the game. Luka White has been spotted by T2K Charlie. That's gonna be a confirmation kill. Hype, they are no more. Hunter knocking down hype turtle lucky op all of a sudden he just rotated all the way up here but it's not going to be easy for c2w lucky to go through team t2k look at that he's really low on health as well he's not even inside the play zone he is going to play with the play zone it seems he's got that small reese in front of him the only thing he can do at the moment is wait for these players team king and team t2k fight with each other and whoever remains he can definitely fight with them t2k they've got perfect land They've got perfect position there. They are actually being favored by the play zone. That's a really good thing for the team. Because you don't even you don't even have to move anywhere else to get inside the play zone to be safe. And that's team T2K for you. Throwing up a couple of nades. Wizard is still inside that smoke. Maybe T2K. Ah, oh boy, there are lots of nades coming in. That's gonna be end for Team King. Oh, just missed it. C2W, he was spotted by T2K Sorry. I think he got a kill. C2W Lucky, I think he got somebody from Team T2K. That's it's gonna be one v two situation for these both of these teams. Sorry, with M249 in his hand, we have King. These are spotted by for Team King. We have Team Okay, we have Team T2K winning the game with amazing 14 kills. Oh my god, six kills by Chari, five kills by Hunter, two kills by Lizend, and one kill by Isal. King team on the other side. They started the game with three players only. Five kills in total. Not bad. In the second place. We have Shroud with two kills. Nixon with two kills. Wizard with a kill as well. C2W on the other side. Lake OP. He got four kills for the team. One kill by Reaper OP and Hype Team. Oh boy. Eight kills in total. Gurkha OIT with three kills. We have Turtle with a kill. Venom with four kills. But Hype SK49, he got disconnected in the earlier phase of the game. He was caught up because of that, you know, with that blue zone and couldn't play. He just lose it, lost his life because of that blue zone. You know how hard it is to breathe outside the blue zone. Cryptic's poison with a kill. And for th that's a total... One kill for Team Cryptics. Mad team on the other side. They've got three kills, two kills by Rambo, one kill by Nido, 7C, no kills registered by them. NVK, they've got three kills in total. That's Dada with a kill, Mama with two kills. And we have JM, five kills by Chronicus. That, that was amazing.
And weapon team, no kills by them. We cannot see any kills registered by team E9. And no kills by XO squad as well. But team Kira on the other side. Look at the kills. They've got seven kills. Zane with two kills. We have Susan with two kills. Thokle with two kills as well. And Elton with a single kill. And that's a total of seven kills for team Kira down here. We have TD's squad with three kills they started the game with three players only and i believe they were the one who used the flare gun in the prison and looted the auz a3 so the cars with two kills she went crazy with one kill easy one squad no kills for them and we cannot see any kills from team pn as well in the first game the last day of season three the last Yes, of course, this is the last day of PLG Season 3, and this is the first game. Two more games left. I'll see you guys in the next round. By the way, if you guys are new here in this channel and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free to subscribe. A sim, you know, a, a simple like would be much more appreciated as well. If you think we deserve some likes, please feel free to do it. And sharing, if you think you can share this video with your friends, please feel free to press that share button as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next round. Hang in there.
Alright guys, welcome back to the second game of the day, the last day of PLG Season 3. I'm, I'm gonna miss you guys, trust me, I'm gonna miss you. So this is PLG Season 3, the last game, uh, last day of course, and this is the second game of the day, and it's all about Sandhawk FPP mode. And by the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free to do so. You can simply share these name share the name clashboard gaming you can simply whisper the name clashboard gaming to your friends as well so let's begin we have team 7c down here they are gonna fight with teams it seems they were fighting with team jm and these guys are playing recklessly maybe this is this is because this is the last game last day actually for season three could be the reason they are playing so recklessly at the moment king team they are fighting somewhere around here with team hype it seems Team King is down here in ruins, looting these places. We have Kappa in the game, Angry Boy, Wizard, Nixon, everybody alive and looting in Pinan. Actually, not even ruins. They're so close to the boot camp, the other side of the boot camp, of course. And the boot camp is definitely going to be covered by Team NVK and Team T2K. Look at these players. We have Dada, Mama, Alexa. Dizzy, everybody here for Team NVK, and they've already got three kills for the team as well. I think they got somebody from Team 7C, 7C squad. They are down here. 7C squad. Oh boy, that's not them. That's Hawkeye. They just landed here in Paradise, and they were fighting with Team. It seems they were fighting with Team E9. Maybe not. JM squad got a player from Team 7C somewhere around here between Paradise and Hatin. Blend is so close to Team JM. I think they can see him running wild and open. We have Team Kira down here looting the Pinans. This is a good place to loot in. This is a good place to find a proper loot for your teams. That's, King, that's a Team Kira for you. <laughs> Elton, Susan, Zane. Three players so far in Team Kira. I, I wonder how many players are left for the team. Thokle is no more, by the way. They're completely safe. Three players from Team Kira. They're completely safe at the moment. We have Team Hype. Venom is here running in the open field to get inside. They are actually inside the play zone. They're running from Camp Charlie. Look at that. They're trying to get a little bit closer. They want to get some more loot for the team. Hype Venom on the run to get compound. He's just going compound to compound to loot as many things as possible. We have Turtle looting the camp. Charlie, Cryptics, they are well separated from each other. Somebody's looting Tambang. Somebody's looting Nakam. And somebody's looting Sami as well. So these guys are looting every single direction here possible. Every single building available in the southern west portion of the map. T2K Sal is here. T2K squad completely safe at the moment under that raid bombing zone. We have Team E9 in the Paradise Resort as well. EZ1 on the other hand. They are going to loot. They are going to split their teams into two different sections. There is a player. Opa down here in the Lakawi. We have Urzen Laling in the Camp of Bravo. They need to be careful though. We have Team Weapon looting the Camp Alpha. PN squad completely safe at the moment. They just chose, they've chosen, I wonder why, but they've chosen a northern side of the map ev in every single map. Not sure why. Maybe they feel more comfortable going down there, but it's a good place to loot actually. Mafia Ninja is here, and I think he is well looted. I think he's got enough utilities in his backpack so that he can fight with the enemies, NVK squad on the other hand, they are going to loot here in the boot camp as usual, T2K Sal, he got vehicle exp okay, I think that was a vehicle explosion, T2K Sal has been knocked down, maybe that's going to be the end for him as well, maybe not, nobody's down there, maybe disconnect is here, look at that, we have disconnect, we have Gole, C2W, Lucky, OP and Reaper, OP as well in the team C2W. They need to be careful though, there's a mad team down here on the other compound. And they're going to share some bullets, some, some sort of ammo with the team, with the teammates of course. In the quarry, look at that. Oh, what's that? Is this drop the flare in that water? <laughs> That's a rare thing to see. So Team Mad completely safe at the moment here in the quarry. Team King on the other side of that quarry. They're just looting these places, these small buildings available for them to loot in so that they can find as many things as possible in their backpack. You can see a drop coming towards Team Kira. That's a secret drop, invis invisible drop. I wonder what's inside. You know, it's, it's so, it's so, it feels so good to look inside the drop before opening it. <laughs> I wish we could, 
I wish we had some sort of things in the normal games like in classic modes and all just look at the drop from far away and we can definitely you know if only we could see what's inside the drop from far away it would have been different so that's weapon CFS using that pickup truck in Sandhawk I don't like that vehicle in Sandhawk it's it's look at that look how slow it is if somebody spots him it's gonna be a dead end for weapon CFH in that vehicle that's not a good vehicle to use in Sandhawk so that's P and squad down here Obiseki is riding the okay he's behind the bike Mafia Ninja is riding it look at look at how it feels to ride a bike in the FPP mode it feels amazing isn't it yes of course we have Team E9, the Empire, maybe that's Empire, the Empire, E9, Sirpa is here with the M416, 3x in that M416 is more than enough to knock somebody down in a, in a decent range, isn't it? Yes, of course, why not, E9 squad, still holding the Paradise Resort, they've got every single directions covered, we have animes on the other building, and look at that, Sirpa on the roof as well, they don't want to risk their team, they don't, they just don't want to risk their life, just there's stopping there stopping in the paradise for some reason and p and guys are gonna engage with team weapon down here that's a couple of shots weapon cfs he was spotted by mafia ninja gallo is so close maybe gallo is gonna revive him but i wonder where the other players from team weapon are they're uphill and p and guys they are gonna hold the compound that's what i know they shouldn't go on the other side or else it's going to be a disaster for Team P and they might lose a couple of teams. They might lose a couple of teammates. There it goes and that's a decent nade. Knocks him down. Weapon CFS one more time. He's been knocked down. There comes a backup team from Team Weapon. Gallu knocks PNIUs down and there it goes. Look at the player playing on the other side of the compound as well. On the other side of the building actually. Mafia Ninja surrounding these players. Right inside. There comes some shots. Two players from Team Weapon, but what just happened here? That was amazing. Weapon 68 from behind. He just confirmed every single kill. Like it seems he just confirmed the last player alive in Team PN. Oh boy. That's gonna be the elimination. We don't we, we can't see Team PN anymore. They have been eliminated. And we don't see Team T D as well. They are already they've been eliminated already from the game. Cryptics completely safe at the moment they're gonna have to run so far to get inside the play zone maybe they are gonna take some buildings somewhere around the pinon we have kira just left the pinon breeze and they are gonna loot the drop it seems c2w are gonna engage with with another team that's t2k squad on the other side this connect is there with the qbz in his hands as well everybody alive for team c2w so far and jm squad are down there as well they need to be careful they are fighting in the open field here in sandhawk green map the rainforest map finally it rendered i thought there was a open field which is which is shouldn't be <laughs> all right cherry has been knocked down hunter on the run to revive his teammate maybe puffy is gonna revive him look at that isal is on the move as well he knows there is a player who is definitely gonna come down to confirm the kill but isal is definitely gonna definitely gonna gatekeep these players there comes disconnect lucky op as well really good nade by gole knocks a player down sorry one more time has been knocked down puffy on the revival reaper op knocked down as well c2w just ignoring the knock they are just ready to push these players down. They are ready to get some kills for the team. Reaper OP is completely neglected at the moment. Sorry, he's back on his feet. They can definitely, f he can definitely fight for the team. It's going to be 3v4 for team C2W and T2K. Rolay on the run. One single bullet on the body of Sorry, and that's going to be the end. This going to has been knocked down. Gole has been knocked down. The only player who can still fight for team C2W is Lucky OP. And he is so low on health. That's going to be the end for team c2w he was really re really low if only they had revived their teammate in time the game would have been different but it's fine t2k guys still holding strong two old teams still alive in the battlefield and buffy sorry they are definitely going to be revived as well but there comes another team that's team king by the way two Everybody from Team Kings are alive. Maybe they are ready to push these players down as well. It's so risky move. They are they're gonna play so so risky move here. Need to be careful. Nixon OP is there with the Forex. 
in that weapon. That's not even bad. We had Team Mad. I think they are fighting with Team 7C. Mad Sam knocks a player down. Isal was spotted from the other side. And Mad Team, maybe they are going to crash where Team T2K are trying to hold in. Or maybe they are going to play some safe games so that they can fight for the late game. So that they can find some good placement points in the end. It's amazing to see these players down. Mad Sam is here with the QBC. Slowly closing in. That's King Angry Boy who got knocked down by QBZ. That's hype. Knocks a player down from Team King here. Here comes lots of shots. And the player has been knocked down. Isal, I don't think he is going to make it. He's bleeding out too fast. Team Mad is there. On their left, they have to take care of Team King, who are going to push them from the right as well. T2K, they are in the middle of two different teams. They need to be careful though. Team King, they got a knockdown. Actually, they were spotted by Team Hype SK49 with the QBZ and just got a player down for Team Hi uh, Team King as well. Mad team. I think they are much more satis satisfied now with the kill and they are going to rotate from this place. Look at how they are lined up in a single straight line. Which is not a good formation if you want to wash these players down you have to you know you have to have some sort of rotation thing the surrounding different formation just don't go in the straight line in front of the enemies we have team king angry boys no more they were shot from behind that's what they know and t2k squad look at that a knock goes down there's two players who's been knocked down on team mad rambo has been spotted as well C47 is really, really in the open field. Sorry, you can definitely see him up here. Maybe not. He's behind that tree. Behind that. Oh, boy. He was behind that rock. That's that's amazing. We have 7C on the other side of that mountain. An easy one. 7C, they can definitely feel. They can definitely hear those gunshots. Shared by Team Mad and T2K. Mad Team. They are going to get some knockdown. An easy one. This came from behind. Look at these players. Lots of third party action going on. Everybody from Team Easy One is down here. They are eager to get inside the play zone. They're going to have to go through Team 7C if they want to get inside the play zone safely. But that's T2K on the other side of the hill as well. Team King really, really close to Team T2K. Nixon OP. You need to be careful. You are very, very close to study. Look at that. There goes a nade. But nobody's down there. That's uh. Maybe that was a warning. Okay, we are here. Just don't come. We've got nades. We've got bullets. Just don't don't come here. We are ready to kill you guys. We're ready to fight with you guys. So Hunter, really low on his health. Maybe he's going to use that first hit kit anytime soon. He's using that bandages. Team King trying to hold this place as hard as they can. But this is not a good place to fight. T2K guys, they need to be careful as well. Team 7C, they are going to fight with Team Easy One. And that's going to be the end for 7C Hades. Maske White is still alive in the battlefield, but Venom is so close. He just crashed into the compound where Team Venom, you know, hypes Venom is trying to hold it. That's Maske Whitey in the other building. Maybe he just heard the footsteps. Maybe this both of these teams, they must have heard each other's footsteps. Team Hype, Venom is all alone. He's all by himself in that compound. He needs some company, but... His teammates are not far behind. Maybe it's time for them to get down here to revive, you know, to help your teammates. E9 Lemon just knocks a player down. E T2K Chari, easy one. Maybe they are trying to push these players inside. T2K Chari has been knocked down. Actually, that's going to be a confirmation kill. Kuni with the M416 confirmed a kill. Venom was spotted by easy one Laling, and that's a knockdown. I think it's time for Team Hype to come down or else it's going to be too late. There comes another shot by, I think that was SK-49 with a shot shooting e Easy One La Ling. We have Prototype Turtle is also here. They are on the move. You need to be careful though. Venom is definitely going to be revived by Turtle. Prototype with a far range of backup. Manis is also there for Easy One. Maske Whitey, he got a slight window to get out from that place. That's that's good for 7C. Look at that. He just got that small window to get out of that fight. He doesn't even want to fight with his enemies. 
this is really amazing. Look at that. Hype Venom is definitely going to be revived now. And King Wizard got 7C Maske, and that's going to be the end for Team 7C. Uh, T2K squad, they've got two players alive in the game. I wonder why these guys are doing this, but they are fighting outside the play zone, which they shouldn't do it. Three players inside that compound. We have SK49 taking care of these players from far behind. But there goes... There's no visibility for him. He needs to be a little bit more higher. Or he has to rotate a little bit towards the left of these compounds. And they have to get inside the place in time. There comes another knock. It's a smart team. They are still fighting with... Since they are still fighting with Team T2K. And he goes with QBZ. Fires up the That's a they knocked down. Sam has been knocked down. Prototype knocked down by Easy one Oak Pie as well. That's T2K guys. They are no more in the game. Hype team, prototype being revived here, easy one, couple of members still alive in the game, Hype SK49, you can definitely feel the heat down there, you can definitely spot these players from up here as well, you need to be careful, maybe he's just you know, sending some request. I'm sorry, sending some <laughs> information, he's passing those information to his, to his teammates, Hype couple of members are going to be eliminated it's the fourth phase of the game they are going to bleed out too quickly sk49 you need to run in time come on hype turtle one more time he's been knocked down and easy money is confirming every single kill and now it's time for sk49 to get away from that place or else it's going to be too late for team hype because he is actually the only player left for the team and there is a circle forming in it's closing in real soon mad team need those i think these guys are con these guys are trying to gatekeep these players. Maybe not. They are running up on their own. Oh boy, they're running on their own. I thought they were going to gatekeep these players. Easy one squad, but no, they are not. That's NVK Mama. Easy one Manis has confirmed the kill. Hype Turtle is no more. Oh boy, that's Kira Susan knocking the last member alive for Team Hype. SK49 has been eliminated. And that's the end for Team Hype. Mad squad down here. They are going to be visible from up that hill if they don't move in inside the play zone in time susan so these guys were down here in the compound trying to spot the enemies on the other side because they must have heard those gunshots being fired and they know the circle is closing in they have to get inside they, they have to follow the same path to get inside the play zone and that's what maybe that's the reason they were trying to compound tr trying to get keep these players who were trying to run to get inside the play zone here so this is mad team they are being revived as well Unite kuni has been knocked down that's a dada and all of a sudden team jm are so close to the boot camp as well the best part of these circle is nvk are gonna take so much so much advantage of boot camp because look at the players they've got every single directions covered the only thing they have to do is stay safe gatekeep these players from every single directions that's it it's gonna be amazing we have alexa dada dizzy mama everybody here and this is really really amazing boot camp is gonna be the last destiny it seems boot camp is gonna be the last destination for the play zone for the blue zone of course weapon team they still have two players alive in the game e9 squad they are losing members they are just losing their members you need to be careful e9 animates is no more play zone caught e9 animates and that's gonna be a another knock zero fear has been knocked down Mama, just confirming every single kills. I think Kronikos is still alive in the battlefield. We still have eight teams alive. Sony is there for Team JM, including Nang. They already lost zero fuel from the game, though. Weapon team, they're going to have to get inside the play zone now. Poison making a move. He's just made inside the boot camp. Alexa knocks a player down. King Kappa has been knocked down. Poison, he must have heard some footsteps inside that building. And Alexa, she must have heard couple of footsteps on that building as well they need to be careful mama is not gonna make it jm guys they are gonna confirm the kill sonim has been knocked down but easy one opa look at that how low he is he is running as hard as he can that's gonna be a play zone elimination easy one are no more cryptics animal he's really low on health as well we have everybody from team cryptics enter the boot camp dada has been knocked down e9 lemon is so close to nvk dada dizzy is there alexa playing so so smart game down here fires up that m416 five foot five six bullets with that red dot sight but couldn't get in. way too open spotted by alexa really good damage done 
health and has been knocked down. GM Chronicles kills King Wizard. It seems Weapon X, they, are, they just crashed into the boot camp all of a sudden and they're just killing everybody down. We still have seven teams alive in the battlefield. E9 Lemon, the last player alive for Team E9. Cryptics, everybody alive for them. NVK, they lost a member. GM Squad, they are so close to Team King. Wizard is crawling to get inside the play zone in the hope to be revived but his friends are way too far away kira susan is not gonna make it that's gonna be the end for team kira we still have boot camp for you it's gonna be chaos inside the boot camp look at that two players knocked down for team king king nixon on the run to revive his teammate maybe wizard is gonna make it dada is no more he's he's bleeding too fast alexa still holding team cryptics inside from inside that building that's amazing e9 lemon just crashed with team jm gets a knock GM Chronicus has been knocked down. That's the elimination, by the way. Nang is really, really low on health. One single bullet in the body of JM Nang. That's gonna be the end. Lim playing a really smart game down here. We have Cryptics. Look at how these players are fighting. Everybody fighting in every single direction. We have Anamora. He wants to spot the enemy on the other side. Look at that. Poison on the run as well. He just got inside the inside that C building. Cryptics fire has been knocked down. Weapon 68. All of a sudden, this is fire these players from behind. I wonder what's going on in their planning. I wonder what's going on with the strategy and all. But they are playing well. They are really, really playing well. So we still have five teams alive in the game. JM Squad, they are no more. E9, the last survivor for Team E9. There is a mol Molotov by Team NVK. King team completely safe at the moment, but they're gonna have to come outside from their warehouse to fight with these enemies. Maybe they are waiting for these players to die and get that placement points. You know, it's easier to fight with less players than to fight with whole squad of a bunch of teams. So NVK, two players, three players actually. Cryptics, they are gonna definitely gonna push Alexa from up here. I wonder what's going on. Alexa thrown inside the building. He knows there are three players down there. there. There are players down there. Definitely. She definitely knows there are players down there. Look at that. Tamang is on the move as well. He's got M762 in his hands. Maybe this could be the end for Alexa. Or maybe not. But Team Cryptics, look at that. They are not ready to fight with the single member inside that building. Alexa, completely visible from up here. I wonder what's going on. But King Nixon... The only player left, actually, Wizard and Nixon, two players left for Team King, Poison. The only thing that's keeping these guys to push inside that building is the mode they are playing. You cannot simply use the TPP mode, you cannot use that third person pers perspective mode to spot the enemies. So you're gonna have to go, you're gonna have to watch your enemies right into their eyes to kill them. So it's gonna be really, really hard for these players to fight in these FPP mode. E9 is lemon, however, completely safe, not moving an inch from that place. Completely safe there. Uh, spots E9, that's gonna be the end. Really amazing move by NVK Dada, and we still have four teams alive. Tamang has been knocked down, it's on really low in health. There comes Weapon 16. He spots somebody down there, look at that. Four teams inside the same building. It's gonna be chaos inside. Weapon 68 has been knocked down. Alexa just making a smart move and that's gonna be the end for Team Cryptics. Nixon, I wonder how he made it outside, but Wizard is there. Maybe he is waiting for the revive. He is. He's definitely waiting for the revive thing. Weapon 68 is there. Weapon X, maybe he's gonna use that heal battle, but that's gonna be the end for Team Weapon. It's all about Team King and Team NVK. It's gonna be a 2v3 situation for both of these teams. In VK, they've got three players alive. They've got the higher ground. King, Team King, they've got no choice other than wait for these players. And uh, he spots another player. That's King Wizard. And what? Nixon just ran outside towards the blue zone when he had low health. That's a play zone. The last kill was 
by the place and of course dada got wizard i'm i'm sorry dada got wizard and nixon i think he was eliminated because of that play zone and vk guys they've got the chicken dinner here with amazing two old kills six kills by dada mama with three kills two by dc alexa with a kill king team on the other side they've got six kills in total wizard and nixon op with three kills each for the team angry boy he was cut off by the Surprise attack by Team Hype and Weapon Team there in the third place with 7 kills, 68 with 4 kills, Weapon X with a kill, Galu with 2 kills. And that's a total of 7 kills for Team Weapon. Cryptics on the other hand, Poison got a kill for Team Cryptics. So unfortunate for them because Weapon Team all of a sudden they just crashed into the compound in that boot camp in the last circle to eliminate everybody. There was chaos going on. I can feel the heat inside that building, you know four teams almost five teams were crashing with each other inside that same building we have e9 with two kills lemon with two kills jm squad they've got five kills in total sunim with four kills zero fear with a kill as well and team kira they've got one kill in total susan with a kill easy one squad they've got five kills and that's opa and laling with two kills each one kill by manis mad team on the other side they've got five kills in total sam with two kills rambo with one kill near those with two kills team hype sk49 he got he managed to get a kill for the team hype and that's the total uh, for one kill for team hype but that that doesn't even matter because team hype they're leading the leaderboard with so many point differences It seems like they're just playing here for fun because they don't even they're just leading the leaderboard with so much differences from team t2k <laughs> these guys are amazing 7c squad look at that zero kills for them no kills registered by c2w squad and we have team pn that was so unfortunate for team pn they got eliminated that was weapon 68 by the way with the amazing kill and which cost pn squad every single members avisek one kill for uh, for the team and Mafia Ninja also one kill. That's a total of two kills for Team P and TD squad. They haven't got any kills in this game here in Sanhok. So this was this is the second game. So I'll see you guys in the third round. By the way, this is the last day of PLG season three. I'm gonna miss you everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Please feel free to share the video if you think we deserve some shares, some likes as well. I'll see you guys in the next round. Hang in there. I'll be right back.
We will be taking off soon. Be prepared. All right, welcome back to the third game. Had some noise there, so I had to turn off my microphone. But we are back. We're back, we're ready to roll. And this is the Miramar map for you. The last map, or we can say the last game of the PLG season three. This is the last game here, and we have the circle. We have the play zone already formed up, and lots of teams are inside the play zone, and we can see a bunch of teams outside the play zone as well. So let's see how this all is gonna end today so season three last game here last day it's the last day of season three plg of course i'm gonna be back with more teams more new teams in the next season so let's have some fun while we can in the season three so we can see two teams down here team nvk and jm maybe they are gonna fight anytime soon i hope my voice is loud and clear if not just let me know by the way, if you guys are new here in this channel, please feel free to subscribe. Leave a like if you think we deserve some like in the video. So that's NVK Mama with the mid I'm sorry, that's M416 with that holographic sight. This is FPP mode for you. The Miramar is going to be so, so difficult to play in the FPP mode. If you are not aware of the terrain here, if you are not familiar with the maps in Miramar, Trust me, FPP is definitely going to be very, very difficult for you guys. So Nang is there, knocks down Dada with M16A4. Really amazing weapon to use here in mid -ammer. You can see Team JM, a couple of members from Team JM here. Dada it has been knocked down. Mama really low on health as well. I believe Nang can definitely see these players down here. Maybe he's going to spot the player on the other side. Look at that. He wants to see. He wants to get 
some bullets inside the body of Team NVK's mama. I wonder what Alexa. I think they can see DZ and Alexa. They can definitely see those players from up here if they have a proper window to look for them. Look at the player C2W closing in to Mafia Ninja, including 7C. They are fighting. It seems they are fighting with Team Kira down there. A player has been knocked down. Elton eliminates. That's a knockdown. UZ Hawkeye has been knocked down by Team Kira with that UZ. So this is NBK Alexa with M16 A4 tries to spot some enemies, trying to shoot those enemies, but no, that's not going to be enough. She needs to be careful from Chronicus, cause Chronicus, cause definitely he can definitely see Alexa from up here. Look at that, he's trying to find her. Dada one more time has been knocked down. That was Sony with AKM knocks Dada down from team NVK. Alexa has been knocked down. That's Nang again. I told you Alexa was way too open on that higher ground. If you are too high in mid armor, trust me, you are very, very prone to be eliminated. And that's going to be the end for Team NVK. Everybody from Team NVK, they have been eliminated. Team JM securing four kills for the team. On the other hand, we have Team 7C down here. Couple of teams trying to loot these places somewhere around the... What is this place? Oh, I forgot. It is somewhere around the San Martin. Yes, of course. How could I forget San Martin? <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe I'm too excited. Maybe I'm too nervous today because, you know, this is the last day of season and I'm going to miss lots of teams. I'm going to miss you guys. That's what I know. Team Kira is down here, including 7C Hades. We cannot see Team Weapon. It used to be their regular destination to jump off from the plane, but we cannot see them. Team P and completely safe at the moment and they don't even have to worry about anything at all. All right, <laughs> all right. This is Kira team. I think Seven C squad. They just backed off from this place. I hope I'm good now. Yes, of course, everything is good now. So P and guys, they're completely safe as well. They're looting the Paraiso as usual. We have Team King, King and E9. They are there in Los Leones as usual, and they might be, they might be trying to fight with each other they might be trying to find some good loot to fight with each other here so that's e9 kuni with scar l in his hands and fpp mode is all about looking your enemies right into their eyes before killing them so e9 kuni trying to get some you know trying to go a little bit higher that tower the popular famous tower we can say that in miramar kuni trying to go as high as he can in Lost Leonis. We still have Team King somewhere around these buildings in Miramar. Look at that. Nixon OP also taking some high ground. But trust me, guys, don't ever go too high in Miramar. It's too risky for your life. If you think there is a player on the other side of the same compound that you were trying to hold on to, trust me, it's going to be very, very difficult for you guys to come up with a new plan. That's a king team. Everybody alive for the team as well. Angry boy on the far side of the Lost Leonis. Team Hype on the other other side of that Lost Leonis to the southern portion of the Lost Leonis. We have Gurkha YT, Prototype, Turtle, three players only this time. So this time Team Hype, they are going to continue with three players only here. We don't we can't see SK49 in the lineup. We have Prototype with AKM in his hands as well. So these guys are separated, split into two, three different sections to find as many things as possible, to get as many things as possible in their backpack. Easy one. They're trying to get inside the place and using that muscle car. Manis is there. We have Arzen, Laling, Opa, everybody. Everybody's there. Alright, so T2K guys, they are in the El Pozo as usual, looting these places. We have Exo Squad down here as well. Sundays is no more. He was really, really amazing. He really plays amazing game in the Miramar. And 
see Sundays who has been eliminated in the early phase of the game. 10 minutes already passed out. We have Suvas in the lineup. Hedron is also there, including XO Bull with UMP 45. You can definitely use that UMP 45 if you in the initial phase. The only thing you need to do is find some enemies, kill them all, and loot those places. The most important thing for a Miramar, if you ask me what, what weapons should you be, you know, sh you should be using in a Miramar, I'd say DMR is a must. If you don't find, if you cannot find any snipers in Miramar with a good, good scope, you just find DMRs or simply use M16 or simply use AKM in a tap tap mode, single shot mode, would be much more efficient for you guys to, you know, try it out. It really works. It work. It really works in a good way. <laughs> All right, that's a Mad team here. Nirdos is there with the AKM in his hands. Three players only for Team Mad as well. Rambo using that muscle car to get inside the play zone, and you cannot switch to TPP mode if you started the game in FPP mode. You cannot switch it to TPP mode. All right, so that's Zayam Nang here. Everybody alive in the game as well. They are gonna play with the play zone, the blue zone, of course. But Team Hype, they're so close to Team King. Team King here and E9, they are still looting the Los Leones, C2W, they are so, so close to PN guys, PN obviously, I think they can definitely see these players right ahead of them, that's a party bus, PN squad are using disconnect, I can definitely see him right in front of them, maybe they've noticed the players as well, look at that, they're following the same path to get inside the place on disconnect, could be... He could be find out, found out real soon. Look at that. He is going to use that vehicle and P and guys are chasing him. If only they, they hear some... No, they didn't hear that. And there is a player coming from behind and he's still outside the place in Mafia Ninja. He just stops that vehicle. Pukar. You can see those players. Party bus is not going to be enough to get yourself out in time. You know the sake. He's not going to make it. He just... He has been knocked down. Pukar, 98. He's got pickup truck as well. Zero fear has been knocked down. Exo Suva is knocking him down. Mafia Ninja is there to revive there, revive his teammate. Maybe that's Ayus taking some higher ground to give some cover fire for his teammates so that he can revive their teams. You know, teammate the Yavisik, of course. Look at this player. They are gonna fight outside the play zone. So so I think it's a bad luck for Team PN. They were moving in in a party bus, enjoying their ride in that open road in that party bus. And all of a sudden, there was C2W squad with Pukar 98. This knocks a player down with that Mini 14. But they are good now. They are good to go. They are going to get inside the place and in no time. They know. Okay, we should go now or else we are going to lose our teammates like that. So that's Team Kira here. Zane is also there. We have everybody alive in the game. Elton, Tokley, Susan, Zane. Everybody from Team Kira, they are completely safe, completely healthy as well. They are ready to fight. It seems 7C squad are gonna crash into the same compound where Team Kira are trying to hold on to. Hawkeye is no more. We have Hades, Arus, Maske, Whitey, everybody in the game. Team Cryptics on the other side of that map. Look at that. We have another drop. That's airdrop number two. Adex in that drop. We've got Gilly Suit. That's a desert Gilly Suit, of course. AUZA3. We got level three gears, level three helmet, level three backpack. I'm sorry, there's, there is no end. There is not any level three backpack. It's called level three vest, though. You can simply use it to. Yeah, you can simply use that. You should use that Kevlar to block some bullets from your enemies. Level three gear is definitely gonna be enough for you guys. Totally passing these places pass, passing these terrain at ease and team mad i think they are gonna take the center of that play zone james squad is still playing with the blue zone they are completely safe at the moment though tdk squad look at that it's so close to easy one you need to be careful easy one everybody using that vehicle they, i believe they are using four different vehicles to get inside the play zone pn obviously has been spotted one more time he's been knocked down by e9 that's gonna be another knockdown. P and Mafia Ninja. Knockdown. These guys are knocking players down like flies. Look at that. Mafia Ninja is definitely he's gonna be confirmed. Yes, of course. Oh boy. Lemon down there. Needs to be careful though. Coming outside in the open field. There is not any cover in front of him. These players obviously there comes a knock. Oh, yes, of course. Lemon has been knocked down. Two players from that Krog. E9 Serpa rushing inside that 
smoke. Just cross me. I'm sick. I use on the other side of that smoke as well. Sherpa, that was a very, very risky move. Blin, now they know there is a player on the other side. And they know there is only a player inside that smoke. That could be the reason they drove that pickup truck inside that smoke. Knocking a player down from Team PN. Animes using some backup fire, cover fire, we can say that. E9 Serpa is still using the first aid kit. Maybe it's time for them to rush now, or it's gonna, not gonna be never. Boy, it's never. E9 Serpa has been knocked down. We have Kuni, Lemon on the other side. Blend can definitely see these players from up there. E9 Serpa confirmed. Avisek, I'm sorry, that's a. That's a elimination. No, Avisek, he wasn't even touched by Ayus. It's gonna be so so tricky for team E9 to revive <laughs> revive their teammates. Kuni taking so much damage. Ayus has been knocked down. That's Lemon again with a knockdown. Blen, the only player left for the team, is way up here in that pickup truck, and he is gonna bounce off from that place. And he just took the wrong side. Maybe he just took that wrong wrong side. Come on, you need to get inside the place and in time. So it's the only player. Blend is the only player left for Team E9. I'm, I'm sorry, Team PN E9 squad. They are outside the play zone, still outside the play zone. They've got plenty of time to revive their teammates, to kill their opponents, to loot their crates, and to get inside the play zone in that vehicle. Exo squad just enter the play zone. Cryptic Poison playing from the southern side of the game. Hype team on the other side. They are not under the raid bombing zone. Not sure why they do like that. Oh boy. Thank you. Thank you, PUBG, one more time. I was wondering why it's not happening. I'll be right back. There has been some glitches. I will be right back. Hang in there, guys. Team Cryptics. Alright, Team Cryptics, they are so close to Team Easy One, they need to be careful. We have Team Matt, Team Kira are gonna fight with Team 7C. It seems they are gonna crash into the same compound as Team Kira as Team Kira and we are gonna be back in no time. That's Easy One Squad. It's spotting Team T2K. T2K guys riding recklessly right in front of Team Easy One. They need to be careful though. It's Buffy with the M416 in his hands and really good scope. In that M416, everybody alive in the game, Team T2K, they are going to take the higher ground to spot the enemies on the other side. Easy one. They have been spotted now. Urgent taking some damage in his body. That's t 2 Oh, Kira Elton just exploded a vehicle. They are fighting with Team 7C down here. Zane is still alive. We have Elton still alive in the game. And I wonder how this all is going to end. Because Team 7C, they just crashed. They just came inside the play zone. They just get, got inside the same warehouse. They need to be careful though. That's 7C Hades as well on the other side. Alright, so finally we are back. Lots of players inside that center of that circle. Look at that. Team Mad is there. We have Team JM inside. And also there is another team. That's Team Weapon, including Team Hype. They are going to take the center of that compound it seems they are ready to fight with these players inside the play zone of course 7 c hades completely safe at the moment we have team mad down here maybe they spotted somebody down they are trying to shoot these players down as well that's team jm by the way who are trying to get inside the play zone with a proper 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 battle all right so that's mad when you do the knocks a player down so he has been knocked down jm chronic is being knocked as well as Hearing knocks with each other. Zero fear really low on health. Nine has been spotted again. He is really low on, low on health. Three players for, from Team JM. They have been knocked down. They are down on their knees. I wonder how this all is going to end. Look at these players. Nine really close to Zero fear, but he, he he cannot revive his teammate. He will be the. He is going to be the only player left for the team.
So we still have team working on the other side, weapon 68 with the M16, A4. If you cannot find any DMRs, that's what you should be using. Use any weapon in a single shot board. That's how you can do really good damage to the enemies if you cannot find the auto moon here. So prototype is there with the M416. Still using that extended mag in that M416. It's going to be really, really helpful. CW D9 has been knocked down. That's King Angry Boy with a knock. I wonder where they are fighting. Look at that players. We have Team King, Weapon, everybody here. Easy ones closing in Team Weapon as well. Easy one Manish driving the vehicle and he just stopped that vehicle right in front of Team C2W. He needs to be careful though. He really, really, really needs to be careful. That's easy one Manish. He is gonna bounce off from that place. It's like, okay, I know you guys are there. I'm not gonna fight with you guys. And there is another team we can continue to fight with these players. D9 spotting the enemies on the other side. Angry Boy has got the player down. This guy is also down there. Spots Angry Boy. And that's a knockdown. We have Shroud on the other side. Nixon is way too far inside the play zone. Shroud is slowly being surrounded. That's Disconnect who got knocked down by King Shroud. And he has been spotted again. Oh boy. I was not expecting something like that, but that's a team elimination. C2W squad, they are no more in the game. King, they lost two players from the team, but they are safe. That's what matters. They're completely safe at the moment. So all of a sudden, these guys are well separated from each other. Blind, he is definitely going to try to play with the circle here. Turtle is here with the hype from team hype. So this is team hype for you, three players, started the game with three players, completely safe, and there is another team a downhill, that's EZ1, prototype can spot these players from up here, Gurkha Whitey taking some care on the other side as well, hype team, they are well placed, we can say they are well placed at the moment, because they've got some good cover, which is amazing, look at that, EZ1 is also here, we have team hype taking some care, He's just taking care of everything on the other side of these mountains. Turtle is also there. These guys are well separated from each other so that they can, so that they can cover every single direction possible for the enemies. Team Hype. E9, they are so close to the airdrop, completely safe at the moment, no need to worry about anything. We have JM Nang, the only player left for the team, are down there. Look at that, easy one, Opa, he's gonna run away from this place. It seems they want to get inside the play zone in time. Prototype using AKM with a 3x, maybe he's gonna use that AKM in that single shot mode. Could be very much useful for you guys if you use it that way. Okay, shots, couple of, yeah, that's a couple of shots going on. Steam Galu, maybe not. He's going to use that AKM in 3x with the auto mode. There comes weapon team. CFH has been knocked down. That's C Shroud from Team King. This knocks a player down from Team Weapon. They just stop their vehicle right in front of Team Hype. They are going to be gatekeep now. Look at these players. Easy one is there. We have Team Weapon. Galu stops his vehicle right on that sack. Turtle can definitely see that thing. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be difficult for Galu to get inside the play zone, leave that place and get inside the play zone. It's really going to be difficult for these players. So this is easy one on the other side. We have Team Weapon closing in to Team Easy One. Maybe they don't know there is a player on the other side. E Weapon X riding recklessly at the moment. Look at that. He just stopped the vehicle in the very, very risky position. You need to be careful. If you if you don't want to be if you don't want to get killed, step out. That place. Easy one monies. Okay, he spotted weapon X, but there was a smart move by X. He just knocks a player down. La Ling still there trying to figure out the exact location of the enemies, but a single nade could damage him a lot. Weapon X, of course. Opa is also there. Manis is definitely gonna be revived. Weapon 68 on the run as well, trying to flank from the right. I wonder how this all is gonna end. Look at that. Opa is also there. A couple of his smokes. Really good placement for team easy one at the moment that is have proper copper that's what you should need in miramar weapon team three players still alive in the game cfh is no more there was king shroud who got him play zone so clay is no more in the game that's play zone getting these players down on their knees e9 fighting with team it seems they are fighting with team xo and we have team t2k down here as well they are gonna they're gonna have to fight with team kira to get inside the place in or else it's gonna be disaster for these players they are well you know lined up 
need to be careful. Look at this. So Cryptic's poison is here. So close to Team Mad and Team Mad, they are definitely gonna get keep these players, or maybe not. They're just gonna run away from this place to get inside the play zone as fast as they can. And this is Team Mad for you, King Team coming up from behind. We have Team T2K listening it outside the play zone. Buffy taking some damage on the body as well. That's King Shroud. I think he's been spotted. Maybe not. That's Kira Susan who has been knocked down. Zane is not gonna make it as well. Plays and caught Kira Elton. And that's gonna be the end for Team Kira. We still have 11 teams alive in the game. Two players for Team King still alive in T2K squad. Look at them. They can spot Team Hype right in front of them. Stop their vehicles in proper location. But they need to move anytime soon. They've got a minute or so to get inside the play zone. Come on, what's happening? Are you serious? All right, I'll be right back. Some technical glitch. I'll be right back. <laughs> So that's it. JM Nang sprays up really, really amazingly. Look at that. Look at how how well JM teams are playing at the moment. They just sprayed Nang with M416. He can definitely spot the players on the other side. That's Cryptic's fire inside the smoke. Maybe it's it's good for him to not just don't come out from that scope uh, smoke, okay? Or you, uh, or else you are gonna be spotted by JM Nang. Oh boy. Stay inside, fires up a couple of shots, but no, it's not going to touch anybody though. Fire is trying to make a smoke path, a smoke cover to get inside the play zone though. We have Team Mad, C47 on the other side. They are going to have to fight with Team XO. They are actually outside the play zone as well. Team Hype, if you look at them, they still have a team to fight on with. That's Team T2K closing in, by the way, towards Team Hype. And this is really, really going to be interesting to see how this all is going to end. Hype Turtle with the M16A4 spots King Nixon in that sack, including Shroud. There are a bunch of smokes all around King team. I wonder how, which way they are going to go to get inside the play zone. Team Hype playing smartly. They are just inside the play zone as well. And they're just trying to get, keep these players, which is a good thing. Which is actually a good thing. Look at the players around these places. Tituki guys so close to each other. Including Team Hype. Look at that. Three players alive for Team Hype. Already got six kills for the team. That's really, really amazing. And they can definitely spot a player, a team down there who are playing with the circle as well. Tituki squad. Three players alive for the team. Charlie is there. Puffy is there. Okay, Puffy. I'm sorry, that's Puffy taking lots of damage in the body. And that's another team by the way, Team Mad are taking shots on Team T2K as well. They have to cover one side, at least one side if they want if they want to fight with Team Hype. That's a knockdown, Luka Whitey knocking down. Yes, this is amazing. This is how they are trying to approach each other. Buffy, the only player who can fight for Team T2K, still alive in the battlefield. Trying to revive his friend Isal. Sorry, is definitely not gonna make it. There is a couple of casualties going on on Team Hype. Still have six teams alive in the battlefield. 16 players alive in the game, and I wonder how this all is gonna end. C47 with the M416. I wonder where he is. Of course, he's inside the play zone. Turtle just knocks down T2K Charlie from the game. E9 completely safe at the moment. They are outside the play zone. Nang, the only player who can still fight for Team JM, is also alive, but he is way too outside the play zone. He needs to be careful. Really, really, really careful. But we still have JM Nang. Look at these players. Still moving in inside the play zone. There is a team right ahead of him he needs to be careful that's team mad right ahead of him an easy one they are also alive e9 squad they're closing in towards the play zone team xo they are no more in the g it seems they are no more in the game no they are not here we still have jm hype is there nang with amazing 6x scope spots the enemy from team mad maybe he is ready to knock these players down we have Hype Prototype with the M416 and AK in his hands. Easy one when he knocks player down. Lemon has been confirmed. E9 Lemon is no more. They are just dying too quickly. We have E9 Kuni down here as well. I wonder how this all is gonna end. You can already see six kills for team E9. Three players left for the team. Lemon just got eliminated a couple of seconds ago. Drinking energy drink. E9 Kuni. Completely safe inside the play zone. Team Hype are on fire here. It seems they're gonna have to go through team 
T2K. They are no more. Look at that. Still four players, four teams alive in the game. Team Mad, they've got three players alive. Team Hype, they've got a couple of members alive in the game. And Team Mad, they have to get inside the play zone in time. We still have four teams alive in the game. And I think they're ready to rock as well. E9 squad. We have Easy One, completely safe. I think Easy One are the one who got who's got only two players left. Sorry for that glitch. I hope this this is but I can definitely see on my other device it's really the game is going really good here. Hype team, they have a player knocked down. Prototype has been knocked down by Easy One Maniz. That's a confirmation kill. And there is only two players left. Team hype. Four teams still alive in the battlefield, including ten members. Easy one. They've got two players in the game. E9 closing in to Mad near those. Look at that team Mad. They are inside the play zone as well. It's the seventh circle in the game. They have to get inside in time or else they are gonna lose their lives like that. Mad Rambo. Still alive in the game, including near those. He's trying to flank from the left, trying to get closer to E9 squad. But it's gonna be difficult for him because he's only the player. He, he he's he's trying to, you know, he's, he's just trying to get closer to the opponent by himself. He needs to be careful. Hype turtle has been knocked on. Guka YT, the only player alive. He actually he was the only player alive, and that's the confirmation kill by Easy One Manish. Just confirms the kill. Guka YT is no more. Manish. The only player left who can fight with Team Easy One has been eliminated as well. That's Team Mad taking the final shots. These guys are really, really amazing. It's all about Team E9 and Team Mad down here. Mad Team, they've got three players alive, including Team E9. They've got three players alive as well. Drambo, he was spotted by E9. That's going to be a confirmation kill. Maybe not. They've got proper cover in front of them, sharing some bullets with each other. Look at the Molotov. They're sharing with each other. This is really, really amazing so team mad team e9 they are on two different sides trying to knock each other down animes is on the move it spots mad c47 right okay he just jumps inside the smoke really good nade by mad c47 he's been knocked down that's Kuni who can still fight for the team but it's gonna be 1v2 situation for team e9 and that's the end of the match here so team mad they got amazing kills sorry for the <laughs> glitches there i couldn't do i had nothing to do i couldn't do anything by the way so team mad they've got amazing 10 kills six kills by need those three by c47 one by mad rambo e9 squad in the second place with seven kills three kills by sherpa limit with three kills animes with the kill as well easy one on the other hand they've got four kills that's manish with four kills and hype team 10 kills amazing 10 kills for them gurkha yt amazingly seven kills here in Miramar. This is actually the last game of PLG Season 3. This is amazing, isn't it? And we have Hype Turtle with 3 kills. T2K Squad, they've got a kill for the team. Legend with a kill. And we have JM with 6 kills. That's amazing. 6 kills for Team JM. Nang with 2 kills. Sunim with 3 kills. We have Zero Fear with a kill. So team EXO, you can see Hedron with a kill, Suvas with 3 kills, that's a total of 4 kills for team EXO, King team, 5 kills in total for them, Stroud with 4 kills, we have Nixon with a kill, a weapon team, no kills registered by them, Cryptics, they've got a kill, Sudri was the one who got a kill for the team Cryptics, no kills by 7C as well, we cannot see any kills by PN squad, Kira, they've got 2 kills for the team, Thokle with a kill and Elton with the with one kill as well. Risa from Team C2W got two kills. NVK, no kills registered by them. TD squad on the other hand, Vikas got a kill for Team TD. So that was the last game for Team, um, for this season for PLG Season 3, the Miramar FPP. Oh boy, I'm gonna miss all of these teams. I wonder how many teams are gonna make it to the next season. Good luck to every single team, okay? Just play well. Hope to see you soon in the next one. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. New is coming. I think I'm going to be streaming tomorrow as well, December 31st. I'm not sure when, but I will be there. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll have some chit-chats tomorrow. And yeah, 
Until next time, stay good, play well. By the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free to do it. Press that like button as well if you think we deserve some like. Alright, until next time, stay good, play well.